Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's up, guys? How we doing? Manny Antonelli here, and today I've got John Madden with us from YouGoProBaseball.com. We get a ton of pitching questions that I can't personally answer because I never pitch at a high level, but this guy did. We were teammates together with the Padres, and so if it's cool with you, I'm going to ask you a couple questions today. First thing is, as a pitcher, how do you prepare for a game? We've talked a lot about from a positional player standpoint, but I have I never paid attention to what the hell pitchers are doing. So what did pitchers do? When did you get to the park? What did you do kind of leading up to the game if you were starting that day? So in professional baseball and, and at Auburn University, I was a reliever, but before that, junior college, high school, I was a starter. So from the starting perspective, um, you know, I just wanted to give myself enough time to get warmed up, to get loose. It's a little bit different in high school and younger because you don't really have a trainer there you don't have it it's basically you warm up by yourself right. so at that time in high school age and younger i knew an hour was probably good enough for me to get to the park get situated get warmed up get my body loose start throwing in the bullpen and then bring it to the mound as i got older as i got into junior college i was still starting but now we had a trainer there you know, we had a, more of a pregame structure. So there was a lot more that I could do. So I would go see the trainer. He would stretch me out. He'd do a little ultrasound and stim. Um, we'd get real uh, loose. I'd have a heating pad on my shoulder, my elbow. I would do all that. Um, then I would go out to the field, get ready to go, get all dressed up, get on the mound in the bullpen and start playing catch. I always wanted to uh, warm up slow and build it up as I went. But I always wanted, as a starter, to get my first inning pitched in the bullpen. So I never wanted to go out into the game and be like, ah, I should have threw more, because then it's too late. You know, you give up a couple hits in that first inning, the rest of the game you're playing catch up, right? So I always wanted to have my first inning done in the bullpen before the game. So I knew as a starter that I took a little bit longer than most guys to warm up. Some guys could throw, get up there and throw, you know, 20 pitches and be ready to go. I knew that I needed to take a little bit more time, okay? So I would go out to the outfield, I would play catch, then I would stretch it out a little bit. I wouldn't do a super long toss. I know some guys do really, really long toss before their game, but I would just get out to about 120, 150, and then bring it back in just to really get that stretch going, get, get long with the arm, then bring them back in. Then I would hop on the mound in the bullpen. I'd probably throw, 30 to 35-ish pitches um, before the game started in the bullpen, and I would build up. I wouldn't get up there the first throw, you know, 100% effort. I'd build it up. But by that 35th pitch, I was full speed. Again, I had already thrown 10 to 12 pitches at full speed because that's what I'm trying to throw in one inning. I'm trying to keep pitches 10 to 12 pitches in an inning. If I do that, I'm being successful as a starting pitcher. I don't want to get up to the 15, 20 pitches per inning. Otherwise, my pitch count is going to get too high. So that's what I did as a starter. As a reliever, it's a little bit different because you don't know when you're going in, right? So I was a, a, a setup guy and a closer in, uh, at Auburn and in pro baseball. So I knew at least that it was later in the game that I was going to be pitching. So all I would do was around the fifth inning, sixth inning, when I was down in the bullpen, I'd start to warm up. So instead of just sitting in the chair until the seventh inning, you know, fifth inning, I'd get up and I'd start moving around, stretching. I might jog down to the dugout and jog back and just start to get my body loose and start moving so I can get my blood flowing. Then as we got closer to the seventh, eighth, ninth inning, I'd really start to do a lot more. I'd be, I'd be really getting some bands in, just really keeping my body moving. I wouldn't be sitting nearly as much and just get everything going. Now, when the phone call came in and said, Hey, get mad enough. He's got to go in the game. Then I would get up on the mound and start getting my throws in in the bullpen. In between innings, I might play catch with the uh, right fielder or left fielder, depending on where, where your bullpen is, just to get the arm going, especially those innings before you know when you're going to go in. Now, in the bullpen, sometimes you're fighting with guys. You know, you might be fighting. The setup guy and the closer might be fighting to throw with the, the outfielder because both of them think they're getting in and they want to get that arm going, you know? So you might be fighting with guys. Or you might get together and go, okay, hey, maybe neither one of us got to throw with the outfielder. Me and you, let's just play light catch in the bullpen, whatever it is. You just have to know what it takes for your body to get loose, to be ready for when you're called to get in there. And it's all about knowing your routine. Everyone's routine is different, but it's all about having a routine, knowing what works for you and sticking to that routine, whether you're a starter 
or a reliever, setup guy, closer, whatever you are, know your routine, what works for you, and you can tweak it over time. You know, it's not gonna be the same always. My routine changed 10 times in my career. So just know your routine, stick with it, and, and, and progress it as you, as you go. That's awesome. So uh, thanks so much for watching. Make sure, go and check his stuff out. You go probaseball.com. I'll put the uh, link in the description box so you guys can check that out. Uh, give the video a thumbs up, share the channel with all your friends, all that good stuff, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks so much.